which of course leads you to more dialogue with your with your friend with your person you know about like, well, what do you mean you don't trust me <laughs> well you know and so on and so on and so on and you you actually see I can say things like to change your behavior, change your commitments, to change your commitments, change your being and all that. And it's all good stuff. But you know what? It doesn't mean anything. Telling you to take action is the only thing that means something. And telling your friend to take action is the only way you will ever get into any real dialogue. So with all your best of intentions, I've seen people do this a hundred times. You, you can say, well, I'm, I'm having lunch with Freddie on Sunday, and I'm going to show him how to cure things, and I'm going to tell him all about this, you know. And you know what? When I'm out on the highway, ten people ignore me or shake their head no for everyone who takes a bumper sticker. And you know what that means? It means Freddie is probably one of the ten. <laughs> he isn't the one that takes the bumper sticker. Freddie is the other ones. Okay, because there's a ten to one chance that he is, so he probably is, you know. I'm pretty safe in saying that your Freddie, your little guy, is a jerk like, you know, the other ones. And uh, so, poor guy, you know. But you know what? On the other hand, um, when people put these on their cars, the, one, the people who can use it and can do something with it see it. <laughs> and they, you know, they end up getting helped. Also, if I get Freddie and you and ten more of your friends in a room, um, not one, but two of those people, or maybe even three of them, will instantly start doing it. The minute you, because I'm not going to show them how, <laughs> I mean, you know how to do it, you're going to show them how, I'm going to film it, <laughs> or do some, I'll be doing something else there, believe me, I won't be up in front of the room showing them how. I will get up in front of the room when it's time to talk to them. <laughs> I'm the guy who does the talking, you're the person who shows them. But if you stand up and you say, okay, without any introduction and no explanation, and you do not take questions, I'm going to show you how to cure things. And somebody says from the back of the room, well, tell us what it is. And you go, no. <laughs> Just say no to addiction. <laughs> I'm not telling you anything. <laughs> and then you show them. What you'll have is three people will stand up and they'll talk about how wonderful they feel. You know, just like the people on the homepage <laughs> talk about how wonderful they feel. It's all they say, wow, you know. <laughs> Emilio Estevez, MD, you know. Wow, I feel tranquilo, tranquilo, <laughs> you know. They're so happy, you know. And so now Freddie knows it's real. They, one viewing of somebody doing it is worth a thousand words, okay? Which is why I put those people on the home page <laughs> doing it, because one viewing of it is worth a thousand words. And so, no, I don't try to change people. I put them in situations where they change. That's what I do. I construct situations where they change. Like, you see this? Like, if you get 30 of these on 30 cars, you will have constructed a situation where the world changes. And, you know, better yet, don't call people you know and ask them to put a bumper sticker on their car or wait till you bump into them. Get 30 bumper stickers and go out on the highway and hand them out. You know, just give them away to people. You know? Anyway, people will hand you money and they'll pay for the bumper stickers. So they, they do, you don't have to even ask them. They do that. They take the money out of their purse and hand it to you. You don't need to wear a sign like we did. I had my best day when I wasn't wearing a sign. <laughs> Actually, I forgot the sign, but I said, I'm handing these out anyway, you know. And funny thing, they just handed me money. You know, it was weird. <laughs> But see, like, look, let's face it, you're not doing this to make a living. You're doing this, and you're not doing it to learn anything, okay? You're not doing it to change you. You're doing it to change the world. Change the world, and you will change. That's what I did, you know, and I have changed. I changed because I changed the world. I have changed the course of history, albeit right now only in maybe a very tiny way. But I'll tell you what, there are people walking around right now because I'm alive who wouldn't be, 
you know, I'm just like a doctor and better. <laughs> because they got something that their doctor was not going to give them. They got the calm, clear place. They didn't just cure their cancer. They were calm and clear. Maybe they don't do it anymore. You know, they cured their cancer and discharged themselves from the hospital, and they're in the upset, uncom uncalm, crazy, addicted, attached place back again now. Maybe so. Okay, but for that period of time, when they walked out in that calm, clear place, when they walked out of their house, they affected everybody that even looked at them. They affected everybody on earth. You know, by the way, one of the things I always love doing, which we could do for a second now, is um, I'm now removing, do this, okay? I'm now removing the disturbances from the emotional bodies of everybody on earth. <laughs> And when you get a signal, you've done that. And I, years ago, I mean, we go back to like 1995, you know, and I used to drive in my car and do that. And I just was, and I, would, I was not enjoying driving around, you know, in those particular times. But man, when I did that, I was so happy. And I would just make myself happy all through my, this is where I learned, you know, to do this when I was in the car. Because a lot of times, like, I was going on some errand I didn't want to go on, you know, I like going to buy food or something, you know, I didn't feel like being out, I wanted to go to the park, and I was out shopping instead, you know. But I just learned to make myself happy when I was in the car. And the car start, started to be a reward for me. You know, I was like a dog, like I wanted to go then, you know, because I was going to do a lot of good stuff for myself. <laughs> oh, boy. You know, funny thing, you know, have you ever known anybody who spent their entire life helping other people and they were never sick a day in their life? Like, there are certain doctors like that. You know, I've known a few, actually, you know. Um, my, I had a girlfriend whose father, he was a surgeon, and he used to uh, go to the hospital. He operated on a lot of kids, you know, and he used to go to the hospital, or he was orthopedic, and he would read them stories while they were recovering from the operation. He'd visit them <laughs> on Saturday and he'd sit down with the children's books and she'd go with him, you know, and they would read stories to the kids. <laughs> it's like, <laughs> and this guy was never sick or actually he was sick. He'd get the flu, you know, and he would go teach his medical students and they'd say, you know, you know, Dr. Nixon, you shouldn't be here. Like, your face is beat red. And he'd say, oh, you just, just let it burn through you, you know. You guys, it's okay if you catch it from me. It's not a problem. <laughs> you know, you just have to get used to this. You're a medical student now. <laughs> I love doctors. You know, you got to love them. Well, 70% test. I mean, 70% of doctors are natural healers. You know, I always, I always got a yes on that when I tested. So you work miracles. You're a miracle worker every day. And yes, you could cure other people. You can go right into their spiral body and take it out. And their spiral body will go right back out, flying off and get it back. <laughs> you know, five minutes after you did that. But you can, yeah, you can cure them, you know. But they will go right back and get it back. They got to do it for themselves. They got to change those commitments, and to change those commitments, they need to change their being. And all you can do is put them in a situation where, when I say they will change, you see, I'll tell you what about that. I can construct a situation with a hundred people in it, and I will guarantee you that a percentage of them, let's say 30% of them, will change permanently for the rest of their lives, or 10% or 50% or whatever, you know, depending. Um, so you can put people in a situation where they might change. You can never change anyone. <laughs> Don't even try. <laughs> Don't even try. But just construct these situations. And this is genuine cure. It is how you cure and it is also what it is to be well. <laughs> it's both. 